lords and ladies, please give a royal welcome to our maestro of musical madness, Sir Samuel of Morocco. <laughs> Lords and ladies, good gentles all, please welcome those loquacious lovers of legends and love. Those versatile viscounts of voluminous verbosity, as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Smythe and Mr. Jones. Hello! Mr. Smythe, and I'm Mr. Jones, and how is each and everybody doing today? Welcome to the theater, the famous royal theater, and while we're in the theater, I say let's do a play! Using our imagination, as well as good enunciation, together we will be creating a creation that will take your breath away. is a stage, my friend. Attend and hark if you've an ear to bend. We're gonna tell a tale when once upon a time at the start, and there's a happy ever after at the end. I say, Mr. Smythe. Yes, Mr. Jones. What story shall we play as play today? Well, today we shall render upon these boards an adventure that is most hair-raising. Well said, Mr. Smythe. For today we tell the timeless tale of Tango! special girl. She's full of hopes and dreams, a little something like you. And if she puts some work into it and makes her mind up to pursue it, she can make her wish for true and be the only hard to do it with imagination, some courage and determination. If she can conquer all her fears and trepidation, well then she just might make it through. Today, we have two special guests. Two special guests? Yes. Who's on first? A lovely young lady with golden locks. Goldilocks and her three dancing bears! No, 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 no. we don't have three dancing bears. Only two. No. Just one? No, there are no dancing bears. Lords and ladies presenting Goldilocks and no dancing bears! Wait a minute, wait hey, a minute. Maybe they could be the dancing bears. Look, there's a papa and a mama. No, no, baby. <gasps> Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones! There are no dancing bears and no Goldilocks. But right? you said a young lady with golden locks. Yes, Rapunzel. Rapunzel doesn't have any dancing bears. No, she's the first guest. Our first guest. Yes. Who's on second? That is the question. I can hardly wait. Lords and ladies, it is time to give a warm welcome to our first royal guest. The one, the only, the one and only, Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Princess Rapunzel, we are honored to be in your presence today. We are most delighted that you accepted an invitation to join us in a live performance of your story. It's my pleasure. <laughs> After all, who better to help us tell the story of Rapunzel than Rapunzel? This is going to be such an adventure. Yes, now remember, we are here to assist you in any way we can. Should you want to know where to stand, we shall show you. Should you wish to know what to say, we will tell you. Should you wish to recognize one of us for most outstanding performance by a play in a leading role, drama or comedy, we shall kneel before you in humble gratitude. I'm sure you will both be wonderful. Oh, very well then. Are you ready? Yes. Then let the play begin. Once upon a time, there was a radiant young lady named Rapunzel, who lived at the top of a tall, tall tower. From the time I was just a baby, my mother never allowed me to go outside. Each day as Rapunzel gazed out her tower window, she wondered, when will my life begin? My dream was to see the floating lanterns that appeared in the night sky every year on my birthday. Yes, but today, like every other day, Rapunzel's daydreams were interrupted by the sound of a familiar voice. Rapunzel! Mother Gothel? Let down your hair! Oh, let me undo that for you. But wait a minute, wait a minute! You have no idea how long it takes to braid this. Oh, of course. Oh! 
Stunt hair, please. Ooh, what's that? That is a theatrical representation of your hair. Oh, I love the theater. <laughs> Rapunzel, I am waiting. Coming, Mother. Obediently, Rapunzel lowered her hair so that Mother Gothel could easily ascend a steep tower hall. It should be noted by all in attendance that Mother Gothel was not Rapunzel's real mother. That's right. I was kidnapped by Mother Gothel when I was just a baby. And why was Rapunzel kidnapped? Oh, Mr. Jones. Because of her magic hair. Yes, which keeps Mother Gothel the fairest of them all. Oh. I. <laughs> Rapunzel. Oh, ah, princess. Rapunzel, mommy's feeling a bit run down. Why don't you let me brush your hair while Mr. Smythe sings your magic song? Whenever I sang the magic song, my hair began to shimmer and glow. And when it glowed, it kept Mother Gothel young with its special healing powers. And as Gothel brushed the enchanted hair, the years melted away like sands through the hourglass, thus for the days of our lives. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Oh, ah, princess. Thank you, my dear. Now, get me my mirror. Strong, confident, beautiful young lady. Oh, look, you're here too. <laughs> Realizing this could be her last opportunity, Rapunzel summoned up the courage to ask. Mother, yes. I was wondering, I mean, since it is my birthday tomorrow, would you please take me to see the floating lanterns? It's my only birthday wish. Absolutely not, Rapunzel. Oh, well, ah, uh, sorry, Sam. Oh, flower, clean the gold, let your power shine, make the cock reverse from back to Rapunzel's life. I told you, my dear, the world is a dangerous place filled with ruffians and thugs, and that's why I keep you locked up in this beautiful tower. Oh, oh sorry. Sam, flower glow, power shine, turn the clock, mind my mind. <laughs> For your own safety, my dear, you will never, ever, 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 ever leave this tower, ever! <laughs> oh. Trust you, Rapunzel, mother knows best. <laughs> Rapunzel was determined to see the floating lanterns. So, she did what any imprisoned 18-year-old girl would do. She packed up a frying pan and headed for the window. Looking down, Rapunzel spotted a young man climbing the tower. A stranger! And as the young man hauled himself up into her tower, Rapunzel... <laughs> Lords and ladies, a hearty huzzah for Flynn Rider! <laughs> Rapunzel did what any imprisoned 18-year-old girl who just knocked out a climbing stranger would do. <laughs> After that, she went through his belongings, found a royal crown, and hid it. Now surely I can convince him to take me to see the floating lanterns. What Rapunzel didn't know was that the crown was stolen. He was a wanted man. <laughs> okay, okay, look. Blondie, there is no way that I will ever, 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 ever take you to see the... Oh, okay, okay. All right, I'll take you to see the lanterns. Anything to get that crown back. And so Rapunzel let down her hair. And down the tower they climbed. Okay, well, this isn't weird. I'm just climbing down hair. Huh? And as they slowly scaled the stone wall, the stranger introduced himself as... Flynn. Flynn Rider. And before Rapunzel could say, Holy hairbrush, Flynn, her feet were on solid ground when they were off and running on their new adventure. I can't believe I did this. This is so fun. Just hope we don't run into any ruffians or thugs. Hoping to get out of this adventure as quickly as possible and avoid being arrested by the royal guards, Flynn said, Um, hey, are you hungry? Because I know a great place for lunch. And thus he led the way to the Snuffly Duckling Tavern. <laughs> Which, as it turns out, was filled with ruffians and thugs. Hello! <laughs> wow, Blondie! Would you look at this bunch? Now this, this is a mean-looking bunch of ruffians and thugs. I mean, just look at this kid over here. You know, never trust anybody with a mustache. Especially a milk mustache. You gotta look out for those, yeah. Oh, and don't be fooled by these princess disguises here. You know, I think I saw this one on the kingdom's most wanted list! You know what, Blondie? I just think we'll be a whole lot safer if we just turn you around and got you back home. What do you say, Blondie? Let's head back to that tower of yours and we'll just get that crown, okay? Excuse me! Yeah, nah. Uh, Are you Flynn Rider? Um, I mean, do I look like Flynn Rider? Why do you think does he look like Flynn Rider? Turn around! Yeah! Ah! 
It's like the sky is new and it's warm and real and bright. And the world has somehow shifted. All at once, everything is different now that I. to allow her this one last act of kindness. I can't let you do this. I can't let you die. But if you do this, you will die. And with his last bit of strength, Eugene grabbed Gothel's knife and... Ah, cut Rapunzel's hair! Mine, 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 Causing Mother Gothel to wither into a shrieking old hag! began to glow. You see, the same magic that was found in Rapunzel's hair was also present in this single tear drop. The healing power flowed to Eugene and sprang forth and began to swirl throughout the tower room. And with that light came new life and new love and Huzzah! Huzzah! They returned to the kingdom and revealed Rapunzel as the missing princess. At which point the king and the queen. My real mother and father welcomed me with open arms. <laughs> <laughs>